Man, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy. Why are you so damn? It's your boy. Booba, aka. Hundred times back in child with another video, and we with. Valerie. First thing first, before we even get anything started, I just want to say, me personally, I'm not the type of person that I come on the internet and address any situations. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I am. Wait, relax, relax, relax. I've been seeing everything that's been going on. Every single second I'm scrolling on YouTube, I'm seeing that boy, King Sid, you're done. King Sid must be stopped. Or should I say Queen Sid? Because he's acting very sassy. Princess Sid, your time has come. You're done. You're done. Today I'm going to be reacting to that boy Smooth Geo video, Sid must be stopped. And the only reason why I'm reacting to any video and I'm speaking out myself is because my boy Smooth Geo mentioned me. And I basically want to give y'all my side of the story and my perspective. I know he was a little bit weird though. Like, nah, it's something. You know when you meet somebody and they just give you like weird, like weird vibes yeah. type. Shit. Like, whatever is in the dark is always gonna come to light. If you ever did anybody wrong before in the past, all of that is gonna come back to harm you. Karma is real. Karma is a thing. Karma is a bitch, like King said. What my hat say? Show. But look, let's get serious real quick because this is a serious right, topic right here. We joking a little too much. So look, we got the lemon pepper wings. We got two orders of wings. We got a lemon pepper sandwich. We got some french fries, some drinks. We gotta cook some rice. I see people get exposed by like one person, two people. But get exposed by like 10 people is crazy. Like if 10 people Bro, got, got a problem with you, I'm it gotta be you. It's not dumb as you. Bro, I'm talking about the whole YouTube community is making a video about this nigga. That's how you know. Like even we are. I think exactly. we're over here right now. Exactly. Yo, <laughs> y'all know me. I'm not the type to get into no nonsense. But, bro, that nigga been acting fishy. That nigga been acting like a, you know what I'm saying? King Sid is telling me, don't edit for him. Don't work with him. Pretty much saying just f Gio, focus <laughs> on me. And I'm like, bro, like, how are you telling me to not work with Gio if you guys are about cool? Like, it doesn't make no sense. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Nah. I don't know Smooth Gio like that, but mm -hmm. I thought that like they were like best friends, like they were mad cool. I think Smooth Gio actually inspired Sid to start doing YouTube. So for you to do that at the end of the day, no matter what type of level you get to or what type of standpoint you at, bro, clout should never make you start moving different. To the people that you fuck with, right? Exactly, especially to a person that helped you in the past. Princess said, I'm telling the editor not to edit Smooth Geo's videos, right? Mm -hmm. Like how you control them, what somebody does, like his work and his business, and now you hold them back your own friend from being able to drop his videos, like that's just weird. And, and like, that's why, and that's why Smooth Geo. You're gonna block your own blessings, trying to block other people. Queen said, if I see you, bro, I'm gonna get on. <laughs> Tommy, I don't think he valid in Miami no more. Nah, <laughs> nah, you gotta check it in your own city. <laughs> now I know why editors taking so long to edit my videos. Now I know why I can't get a video out to you guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is just my whole process is delaying. Like my money's being sabotaged, my channel's being sabotaged, everything is being sabotaged. That's crazy. And That's it's okay. just like you would think you wouldn't think it's like a person that is in your circle, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying I'm best friends with him now and stuff like that, but you know what I'm saying? We used to be tight and well, stuff. Yo, like. probably had no idea that that was going on. Like, that's crazy, bro. Whatever you do to somebody is gonna come back. And whatever you do in the dark is gonna come to the light. So be mindful of what you really do to people. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you light skin. I go like that nigga, that nigga said, give me PTSD. <laughs> I'm watching you now. <laughs> you might turn into a snake. <laughs> <Don't tell me. laughs> And another thing that threw me off was I was supposed to go to ATL to collab with some YouTubers. It was Unghetto, Avery, Booba, Bentley. Um, I'm not sure if it was someone else as well. Now look, let me break this shit down to y'all. First thing first, when I met that boy King Sid, me and Rella been together for almost two years. He had <laughs> slid in Rella's DMs, bro. Mind you. Mind you, hold on. We was my, really no, together. No, no, listen, mind you, me and you got mad cuffing pictures on Instagram, bro. The nigga gonna slide in your DMs like, yo, what's your number? Rella shows me the DMs. Not only that, calm down. You get mad angry, calm down. Yeah, drink something. He knew I was in a full blown relationship. And I think that nigga wrote me right. Like, the last picture was a picture of me and Booba. Like, we had just posted pictures. So it was like, nigga, you know I got a man. 
I'm not a motherfucking toothy, nigga, so I showed my man. But that's when I hit up, bro. I'm like, yo, what's your, like, I'm like, yo, what's your number? He sent me his number. I call him, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm in Miami. What's up? You just texted my girl. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. He like, oh, I didn't even know that was your girl, bro. I know your girl, woo. <laughs> yeah, I know that was your girl, woo. It was not even like that, woo. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, yo, let's kick up a video. And that's when we end up linking up the same day I pulled up on him. We did a video. He like, that's really a girl, da, 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 whatever. So Boo was like, yeah, like, the fuck? Long story short, that's when we end up knocking on the video with Sid. A month go by, now he's back uploading videos again. Now he's trying to do a face-to-face -face in New York. Yeah, right? right after we collab with him, though, he started getting back on YouTube. Like, that's when he started posting and doing shit like that, doing that whole smash pass shit. Exactly, and then that's when bro said, yo, Booba, I'm about to come to New York. I'm trying to do a face-to-face. -face. I'm going to have you and your girl host it. So I'm like, <laughs> who are really going to do Booba hit me up telling me, yo, King said about to put us on a flyer, right? For a smash your pass because he's coming to New York. So I'm in my head, and Booba's like, oh, he about to do a video. That Booba said he was going to do a video. So he's asking me, like, which video you think I should do? Because if King said do a smash your pass, what should I do? Whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm like... Okay, first of all, I understand if he said he put him just Booba on the flyer, so he gets a video and Booba gets a video. Exactly. But if I'm on the flyer too, I don't do Smash or Pass videos. Like, so, I don't host Smash or Pass. So I'm like, what am I on the flyer for? So I'm confused. Hope. And me, I'm mad spectacle because nobody finna use me. So I'm like, is this nigga trying to put me on the flyer so that you I can bring it. bitches out from New York because... He probably knows that, like, for Booba Smasher Passes, I'll be helping him get girls, too. So he probably like, oh, Vela is from New York. She knows girls from New York. If I put her on the flyer, then she can help me get girls from New York. And Booba can help me get She's niggas in New York. She's gonna have this smooth cheese outside. So look, she end up adding the girls. And I end up adding the boys. And after we did that, I'm texting Sid. I'm like, yo, what videos are you gonna do? Because I'm trying to get a vid in, too. Because mind you, bro, you're coming to my city, right? You had me get all the boys for your face-to-face -face videos. Had my girl get all the girls for your face-to-face -face videos. And, he, you know, he had, Queen Sid had the audacity to tell me, bro, it's not going to be enough time. Bro came to my city and shot four videos. It was four? Back to back to back. It was four, right? He shot four videos, bro. Mind you, I'm putting all the girls in the chat, whatever the case may be. I already put like 10 girls that's in the chat. That's already after we already added I know, and the then chat. that's when Booba <clears throat> called me and he's like, oh, I just spoke to him. He's telling me that he, that Booba's not going to have enough time to do a video. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what the fuck does he mean not going to have enough time to do a video? Because he said he was booking the rooms out for like four or five hours, right? Exactly. So I'm like... So why would you want to put Booba on a flyer if he can't even do a video? Exactly, but Booba do this to piss off. We don't want to host. He can host a video with you, and he can do a video. You can host it with him too. Exactly. You could be the little side, the side this dude. Side, he he, he want to be the main yeah, person. Exactly, he, he want to be the main thing. He like, could have been robbing in the other scenes too. Man. But at the end of the day, this just goes to show you what type of person he is. The nigga is selfish. Queen said, bro. But we just let it slide. Like, yeah. at that point, like, Booba's like, oh, he's saying da 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 No, at that point, it's like, bro, we already we added the boys. Yeah, exactly. We already added the boys in the chat. You already added the girls to the chat. So it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, bro, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to just go show love. You know what I'm saying? Because in, in the back of my head, I was not even thinking about it like that. I'm like, cool, I'm going to just go show bro some love. Yeah, we were just like, whatever. We were like, we wasn't thinking about it too hard. But now that all this is coming out, like, you just realize everything that, like, how, the type of person but he is. Just, he's the type yeah. of person that he just want to look out for himself. Because at the end of the day, he has other friends, too. He just... No, that's it. And, and it's crazy too. No, no, it's not. It's not, it's not. It's not even other friends. He has other YouTubers around him that, are that he was not even letting like shine, bro. Like he wouldn't even let them bro, do a video. Yeah, yeah, you on tour, mind you. You got your friends traveling with you. If I get a studio for five to six hours, I can shoot a video. Let my man shoot a video. It's like, bro. Yeah, I don't exactly. get like what's the point of being so selfish. You came to my city, shot four videos, didn't even let me shoot a video. Had me and my girl. Me and my girl add everybody to your chats. That's crazy. Queen Sid is good at what he do. So well, look, my I'm you. like this motherfucking bitch. But like, no, I should have added mad ugly bitches to that group chat. Mad bottom of the bottom of the bottom. Good, of the bottom. Man. Before King Sid came about in our life, whatever, when we started, bro, we've been doing. You did a smash or pass 
with your old two friends before that do YouTube too. You did a smash your pass. Y'all did one where y'all all split at the time mm -hmm. and y'all all did a smash your pass. So don't make it seem like you just start, you, you saw him do it. No, that's not what happened. You had a smash your pass way before we met him and then you said, oh, let me just do another Bro, smash your pass. I've been had a video out 10 girls versus two, three guys before even King Says started doing his smash on passes. I've been did that in the past when I was first coming up. So it's like, I'm like, all right, basically, babe, this babe, nigga, oh my god, let me, all right, what, finish talking, what you was gonna say? Because basically, this nigga tried to make it, <laughs> basically, this nigga tried to make it seem like he created smash up passes, like he thought of the idea and he invented and that, look, I and wanna, he had a patent and nobody and, could do it. And look, I want to say one thing too, right? At the end of the day, bro, no matter what waves you set, bro, no matter if you did start the smash up pass or not, bro, if I know two plus two is four and I see other people copying two plus two is four, I know I'm doing something right. Two plus two is four, no matter what. I, mean, I, it, bro. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Why are you getting grumpy for? Uh, nah, I'm just trying to put it into perspective okay. where they can understand. I know, but that was a bad. Perspective. Okay, that was a bad. Uh, that was a bad example. But let me just say. But, let me say. I know what you're trying. But, Look, you. you now you acting like a queen. What happened? <sighs> I'm acting like Queen Sarah. Yes. Right Long story short, that's when I had reached out to the own chat that I made. <laughs> <laughs> I reached out to the own chat that I yeah, made like, and so said, "Yo, I'm doing a smash show pass this Saturday. Which one of y'all want to come?" The nigga going text. We, we, I forgot what he texted in the group chat, but my, I don't even think he texted. He just left. No, he left the group chat and he unfollowed me on Instagram. That same second, like that same day, I'm like, what the fuck? Mind you, this after nigga. I helped them get the chats together, you gonna unfollow me on Instagram? That's some, that's some princess shit. So he basically got mad at Booba after Booba just helped him do a whole video. We both helped him do a whole video. He you got can't... mad at Booba for him asking girls that I put in the chat and niggas that he put in the chat who want to come to a video that Booba and whatever that he's doing. Exactly. After I helped it's him. It's not your chat. Nah, that's crazy. Queen said. So that happened there. Nobody so, knows about that. Yeah. Now so y'all can even see in this clip right here that I'm about to pull up. Bro, literally after we was doing videos with each other, bro, it was literally copying the whole lingo. Like, are you relevant? Yeah, exactly. Like, but you fuck? unfollowed me on Instagram because I mind you. So you, <laughs> so you want to copy people, but you, somebody you, copy you, you want to say shit because nigga, only my daddy G said, are you the G? Run, yo, it all the way. Yo, li bro, literally copying the whole lingo, but you get mad when other people. And there's nothing wrong, you. okay? Oh, because yeah. Booba don't care about that. Somebody, people say G's like that's swag, like you know. <laughs> Booba started that. That's swag. Like say that shit. Are you G's? <laughs> he didn't get mad at that. Did you get mad at that? No, I like it. Yeah, I'm even, happy. We saw the video. I shared the video. <laughs> yeah. We saw the video. We like, nah, that's mad fire. Like, people using your lingo. Like, that's fire. But look, back to the script, Inspiration. though. Inspiration. I was supposed to go to ATL. I told Sid, I said, yo, bro, slide the ATL with me, bro. We finna collab with blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's make it. Oh, yo, look. I was heading to Atlanta. I was originally already doing a collab with Ghetto, Bentley, Avery B, and I saw Smooth Geo was going to be in ATL too. So I reached out to him. I'm like, yo, Geo, you might as well host it with us too. And he was down to do it. So that's when we all literally got on the phone together, made a flyer, got the studio. Only you was getting a video? We all was getting a video. Oh, okay. Each and every single body got was fun. getting a video. A you home. know what's so crazy though? That nigga said came to our studio that same day. He was just like, nah, I ain't going to ATL, man. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as he sees me about to do this thing with all these boys, he's just like, man, I'm, I'm coming to ATL, bro. Be ready, bro. Let's do our shit, bro. Let's crush the boys. Let's do our own shit, man. Fuck the boys. Don't do no video with them boys. Fuck, them fuck that video. Let's do our own shit, man. I'm going to come to ATL. Let's take over that shit, man. Florida take over, man. Fuck them boys. Don't do nothing with them boys. But I'm just like. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Queen said, bro, you was that in much in your feelings, bro. Yeah. You was that sassy, my boy. Like, bro, at the end of the day, mind you, bro, he was not going to even come to Atlanta until he saw the flyer. But you want to know so funny? Booba didn't know that that's how King said felt. Like, you assumed it, right? I assumed, bro. I know the nigga unfollowed me because of the chat already off the rip. I'm like, that's some light skin shit. Like, basically, King said, King said had beef for himself because on Booba's end, he didn't feel no type of way about You didn't feel no way about him, right? You didn't give a fuck about nothing. Nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. Hey, uh, nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. Nah, we got to react to the video too, though, man. I already had everything confirmed, so just because you tell me not to 
do a video with them, like, nah, bro, like, I already gave them my word, like, I'm gonna keep it real, like, you know what I gave them my word, I'm gonna do this. Did you call King Say after him followed you? Not even. When he came to the studio, I approached him in person. I'm like, yo, what's up? You don't fuck with niggas no more? He like, nah, whoa, it's not even like that, whoa. We don't got no problems, whoa. Then I pulled up on his, yo, it's crazy too, cause Jay Wonder, bro. The nigga gonna follow me when King Say don't follow me too. <laughs> bro. Man, it's so crazy, bro, that, bro, when he unfollowed me, I'm like, yo, Jay Wonder unfollowed me, Sid unfollowed me, bro, I call Color Care right now, bro. Nigga, I thought Color Care had a problem with me, too, because I thought there was the trio, you feel what I'm saying? That's when, look. No, they didn't call Color Care unfollow you, too, but then he said, yeah, my bad, woo, my bad. Exactly, look, I'm finna call that boy Color Care right now. Look, long story short, Sid and Wonder had unfollowed me on Instagram, right? And that, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Exactly, and then that's when you unfollowed me. You unfollowed me on Instagram, or I unfollowed you. Nah, you unfollow me, gang. I ain't never unfollowed you. You unfollow me. Fact. So look, I unfollowed you on Instagram, right? Cause I thought y'all was. You feel what I'm saying? That was like. Nah, I ain't that type of nigga, bro. Nah, I know, I know, I know. Look, the reason why I unfollowed you on Instagram, bro, is cause you feel what I'm saying. Y'all all in the same group. So once Jay Wonder unfollowed me and Sid unfollowed me, I'm thinking like, yo, like. Nigga, I'm about to unfollow this nigga Color Kid too, cause you know what I'm saying? Like y'all all in the like same group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah nah yeah, I'm doing a video right now, bro. I'm just explaining my side of the story, bro. Just how yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got a story. <laughs> Yo, color kid did 20 videos. <laughs> yeah, you just did another video? Nah. Yes, you did, nigga. Like, <laughs> no breaks. <laughs> no breaks. Nah, but yo, look, long story short, bro, that's when, wait, how did, yo, how did we end up following each other again, bro? When you came back, when you, I think when you was coming back to Miami, I think. Yeah, I came oh, back. Oh, you hit me up at an Oreo. I hit you up. Oh, no. I think, yeah. I think you hit him up and you Nah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I reached out to you. Matter of fact, I had your number, bro. Yeah, so I yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I reached out. He was like, yo, keep grinding some shit, yeah. Facts. I called Color Kid. I'm like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna, honestly, I don't got no problems with you. It's just, you feel what I'm saying? Your partners had unfollowed me and shit. So I was thinking yeah, that had something yeah, against yeah. me. But at the end of the day, bro, Color Kid, one thing, bro, that I'm going to give you, bro, that you always remain yourself at all times, bro. You did not let no nobody cap. impact your decisions, bro, at all, bro. No cap, bro. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> Nigga, Color Kid said I'm going to let him breathe. <laughs> nah, shout out to Color Kid, though, because even though King said they didn't fuck with you, he was still fucking with you. But it was no reason for the nigga to not fuck with me. No, I know, but I'm saying King said how, like, these minions that will follow, like, Jay Wonder follow Jay what Wonder, do. yo, Jay At Wonder. At least Color Kid had a mind of his own. Exactly, yo, Jay Wonder, bro. Listen, bro, I got nothing against you, bro, at all. I ain't going to call you out your name or nothing, bro. Just be yourself, bro. It's cool, bro. It's good, bro. Stop letting that nigga impact the decisions that you make, bro. This man comes to ATL, comes to my video shoot, basically sabotages my whole video shoot, you know what I'm saying? And right. the video never got dropped, you know what I'm saying? You guys have never seen that video because the video got fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And that shit, it was just like, that shit threw me off. I'm like, bro. Bro, like, they literally came to Gio's video. And bro, they was not putting, they was not taking Geo video seriously at all. Niggas was smoking, niggas was drinking liquor throughout the video. Your video was fucked up. Yeah, that's why he never dropped this ATL that video. They did that on purpose. But how you say all that fucked up? Da, 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 don't but you come, come to our video shoot. Fuck them boys. Hey, you took fuck a whole he, said, fuck, he said, fuck them boys. Let's crush them boys. Fuck them boys, bro. <laughs> From Miami to ATL just to go and see and try to no, fuck their shit up. Fuck our shit up and then do his video the next day. And then do your video the next day. And you know what's so funny? I peeped. When he did his video in Atlanta, <laughs> he ain't never do this before. This nigga had food catered. He had foreign cars outside the shit. You would try to make it seem like it was a competition where bro. we got the better smash on ass. <laughs> I'm confused. Bro, I bet she was on a call with Jill like this. Nah, whoa, fuck them boys. Yo, yo, whoa, fuck them. Gio said, nah, bro, I'm gonna do it, bro. I respect, I respect Gio, bro, because at the end of the day, bro, Gio held his word, bro. And even though he had a mind of his own. Exactly, as you should. Nah, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I already gave my word to all the boys. I told him, I said, I said, I'm gonna do the video with you. You know what I'm saying? I already had everything confirmed. So just cause you tell me not to 
do a video with them, like, no, nah, bro, like, I already gave them my word, like, I'm gonna keep it real, like, you know what I'm saying, I gave them my word, I'm gonna do the shit, you know what I'm saying? Bro, everybody that's watching this video, just the whole situation overall, I want y'all to take away something, bro. Don't do harm's way to nobody, because that shit will come back and bite you in the butt when you least expect it. Because at the end of the day, the, the day, day gotta end. Do anything for clock. Do anything for clock.